In this video we will assemble the electronics of the printer. What you'll need for this first step is the electronics unit. It's the Arduino board, the RAMS 1.4 board as well as all the stepper drivers which is already assembled. It should come like this in your, in your kit and the firmware is already, as, is already installed on the Arduino board. Then you'll need three M3 by 30 screws and three M3 lock nuts. We will assemble the electronics to the side of the, of the printer on the right hand side. So I will do that is we'll take the electronics the side where the USB plugs in will be facing down and you'll see that there's three holes that lines up with the holes that's in the in the electronics where we can mount it. So we'll put the screw through the through the holes and then we'll mount it to the to the frame and we'll fix it on the inside with the lock nuts. Once you've done that, the electronics should be nicely secured on the side. Not rattling with the big connectors facing to the bottom. Next up is to mount the fan. This fan will cool the, cool the electronics. What you'll need is the 80 by 80 millimeter fan, two M3 by 16 screws and two standard M3 nuts. We will mount the fan to the back of the electronics with the, the slots provided while the, the sticker of the fan is facing the electronics so that when we connect the red wire to the positive 12 volt and the black one to the ground that the fan is blowing air over the, the electronics. When we have mounted the fan it will look like this and we'll connect the wires with the 12 volt that comes from the power supply. If you've ordered the LCD display as well, what you'll need to assemble it is the LCD display, the component that looks like this, 6 M3 by 16 screws and 6 M3 lock nuts. First you'll take this component and slot it into the slot provided on, top of the, on the top of the printer. Then you'll use two screws to secure it and tighten it with the lock nut from the back. Once you've done that, you'll mount the LCD display from the back with the four screws provided in the four holes. When you are done with that, it should look like this. The next step is to connect everything to the electronics. On the RAMS board, there's provision for the two Z motors, for the Y motor, the X motor, the extruder motor. If you later on want to add a second extruder that will fit in there, that you'll use for the end switches and those pins are for the, the temperature sensors. If you are making use of the LCD display, that will connect to the pins here on top. There are two things to remember. When you plug in the connectors for the stepper motors, the red wire will be at the bottom. And the other thing to remember is if you plug in the end stop switches, the red wire that you are not using will be on the right on your right hand side. You can plug in the, the cables according to the following figure. Something else to remember is that provision is made for routing the wires. There are cutouts in the frame that looks like that and there's a couple of holes in the frame to put cable ties through to, to fix the wires. Another thing is that the leads for the, for the fan will connect with the 12 volt power supply which is connected to these connectors here. We'll go into, into that and these 
blue connections are for the heated bed and the extruder. If you have an uh, all metal hot end, the fan on the all metal hot end will also connect directly to the power supply so that whenever your printer is switched on, that fan will be running. At this point, your printer should look like this. The final step is to take your glass bed and place it on the, the heated bed and then we secure it with the four metal clamps that was provided in your kit. At this point you should be ready to connect it to your 12 volt power supply and also to your PC to start testing the, the separate functionality of the motors and the heaters and the sensors.